Shamim Nanchinga is the mother to this two-year-old girl, a victim of defilement. The action of violence was allegedly committed by Nanchinga's brother, Kasim Katende, at their parents' home in Buyole, Kayunga district. I found him myself, caught him red-handed. I couldn't even speak and my legs were trembling. He ran away. Whereas Nanchinga had her brother arrested by police, her main concern is now for her child's pathetic condition, owing to internal injuries that she sustained from the attack. Her condition is worrying. Her private parts have started rotting. She has uncontrollable diolia and the stool sometimes contains blood. When Katende was presented before Grade 1 Magistrate Farida Kamana yesterday to be read his charges, Nanchinga, the mother of the child victim, as well as the victim herself, were also present. But the poor state of the child caught the magistrate's attention, who halted the proceedings to immediately fundraise money and send the victim to hospital for medical treatment. I thank the magistrate for her help, for her decision to halt the proceedings and fundraise money for me, for her personal contributions as well. Nanchinga now hopes to raise an additional $8 million for her daughter's surgery. Judiciary spokesperson James Mawanda has loaded Magistrate Ikamana's actions. I, Nikayunga, recognize that before her is this uh, uh, justice seeker who has other peculiar circumstances. And it does an act of humility. It is very positive. And this is the encouragement we are advocating as a judiciary and ensuring that all judicial officers should apply a human face. He urges that they demonstrate the humanity of the judiciary system and the willingness of its staff to serve above self. We serve human beings, we don't serve machines. They have feelings, they have problems, they have all sorts of emotions. And this is one way to be able to address the emotions of such a, a mother of such a victim. And it, to us, that is very positive. The 2023 police crime report indicated that 13,000 cases of defilement were filed, with 300 of these indicating that the victims had been infected with HIV.